Hi, my name is Jose Gabriel Isaguer Prieto, and I am from Caracas, Venezuela. You can call me Gabriel. As a kid, I was very shy. I didn't like to go out. I didn't talk much. I didn't like sports. Like many kids, I grew up with my eyes glued to the television, enjoying mainly children cartoons, uh, feature films, and that was a huge influence for my art. The only the way I found to express myself, uh, really speak my mind, was art. I drew all the time, like cyborgs, hybrids, monsters. The limitless and mostly dynamic worlds portrayed in media were my escape from my dull and mundane childhood. I wanted to do the same for other people. I took classes at art schools in the country. I learned how to draw, how to paint, how to sculpt with clay. I was never a huge fan of school, but I was lucky enough to study in one where theater classes were mandatory. That is where I developed my passion for acting and storytelling. At nine, I wrote several comic strips and storyboards for the movies I had in mind, even though at the time I didn't even know what a storyboard was. Then I started writing theater plays, tales, songs. The most common themes were humor, love, and death. At the age of 15, I started taking guitar lessons. I learned the basics of harmony to be able to play myself the music for the dozens of song lyrics I had written at that time. I even played in a few heavy metal bands back in the day. At the age of 16, I started to write my first science fiction novel, Sopa de Anguila. It was inspired by a theater play I wrote and directed years prior to that, stirring the characters from the comic strips I drew as a child and displaying an obscene sense of humor. At 18, I graduated high school and then moved to Ireland to learn English. I learned English because my parents wanted me to. Uh, they didn't have the opportunity themselves to learn English. They knew that this point uh, in history, this globalized world, uh, you need a second language. That's it, you need it. Especially English. English is worldwide like the business language. Dublin is also where I started writing my second book, Maldito Pixel. After finishing Maldito Pizzero, I wrote the sequel to Sopa de Anguila, my passion project that I am planning to adapt into scripts for animated series. When I came back to Venezuela, I made two voice dubbing courses, becoming able to dub cartoons just like the ones I saw as a kid into Spanish. Quejas? Sé manejar las quejas. Lo que no sé es cómo saben tus clientes el funcionamiento de seguritas. Son expertos, expertos, Bond. Desafían nuestras excusas, evaden los obstáculos, han penetrado la burocracia. Having acquired all these skills throughout the years, I finally knew what career I wanted to study. For me, the logical step was to study film. Film is like the ultimate form of art because it includes all of the other mediums. I knew studying film in my country wasn't an option for the political and economical situation. It wasn't easy to leave my home country, but I was ready and determined to grow some and turn my dreams into goals. After having a few meetings with my parents, we decided in which university I was going to study film. Full sail. So here I am in America, working on making my dreams come true. I know it ain't going to be easy. It never is. But I have time. There is always time.